Thursday morning, heading to work, and some crazy stuff happened last night. You're not gonna believe this. About midnight, woke up, dogs are going crazy, barking, barking, barking. We have a doggy door on the back door so they can go out in the fenced in backyard whenever they want. The dogs are going crazy. So I get up, and I'm thinking, you know, somebody's messing with something or something out there. My truck got broken into two weeks ago. And uh, so, you know, I'm on the alert. So I go out there, I don't see anything. They're just sitting by the fence, barking, barking, barking at something on the outside of the fence. So I'm thinking maybe somebody's out there hiding under my truck or something because my truck sits under the carport at the edge of the fence. I go out the front door, looking around under my truck, nothing, nothing. We've got a little motion light under our carport, but when you walk away from under the carport, you can't see anything. So I walk away from the carport over to the edge of the fence where they're barking at, and I'm standing there with my hands on the edge of the fence, and, and I'm, I'm just looking at them. I'm like, what are y'all barking at? And as I'm standing there with my hands on the edge of the fence, out of the corner of my eye, where the fence meets the house, I hear something rustling in the grass, and I'm... Is it a cat? Is it a raccoon? What? And I can't see. So I run inside, and the closest flashlight I have is the little tack light on my pistol, which is on the nightstand. So I grab my pistol. I go out there. I shine it in, in the corner. And it is the biggest rat I have ever seen in my life. I thought it was a groundhog. It's sitting there up on its hind legs just staring at me it's not moving and I'm thinking is is this a beaver is it a that's got to be a groundhog it's got to be I, I get closer and closer and it doesn't move it's just staring at me and I'm thinking this is a rat this is a rat and it's rabid or it would be running off or something so I go grab the shovel I get over there. Well, I'm trying to hold my pistol with the tack light in one hand and hit him with the shovel in the other. But I can't hit him hard enough with one hand and it's making him mad. And he bites onto the end of the shovel and shakes it in my hand. That's how big this rat was. So I put the pistol down, I double handed, but when I put the pistol down, wasn't pointed in that direction and the grass was real high so I couldn't still couldn't see so I've got the I'm double handing the shovel at this point <clears throat> but I'm blind whack a mole in the corner of where I think he is but he's jumping in the air I can hear him jumping so I'll, I'll whack a few times and then I grab my pistol and I, and I point it over there and I see I've stunned him he's kind of you know jerking and wiggling. So I grab the edge of the shovel and I put, you know, jug him with it. Jug him, that's a word. Jug him. On the back of the neck, I broke his neck. Okay. Scoop him up with a shovel. I take him over there to the front porch and I'm looking at this thing. It is literally bigger than Buddy, our youngest dog. It's bigger than he is. It's got to be six eight pound rat so I, I, I grab my phone I start filming I'm like this is this has got to be some Guinness World Record or something throw him in the bed of my truck I'm thinking I'm going to carry this to work and show somebody at work that can tell me if they've ever seen a rat this big well my wife comes in from work because she works nights. She's usually coming in right when I'm leaving. And she gets there and, and I tell her about the rat and everything and she's like, where is it? Where is it? And I said, it's in the back of the truck. Go look. 
So I'm still getting ready. She goes out there and she, she looks. She comes back in. She goes, oh, it's just an old pack rat. And I'm like, that is not just an old pack rat. That is That thing is as big as one of our dogs. And she goes, no, I've seen one that big before. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'm going to put the video that I filmed of one, me trying to kill it, which will probably have no sound on it because I, there's cussing. There's a good bit of cussing and me freaking out on it. But after I killed it, I took it up on the porch and that one will have sound because I'm just like filming and not not cussing on it. So at the end of this, this video, I'll put it on there and let y'all see. You tell me I stuck my foot next to it to show you how big it is, how long it was. So you can let me know if you've ever seen a rat this big. I have never seen a rat this big. So, alrighty. Well, I'm gonna head on to work. Y'all take care. Take care of each other. We'll see you later. Either this is a rat or the biggest, no, it's either the biggest rat I've ever seen or a groundhog. I have no idea. But the dogs are going crazy. What the? Is that a groundhog? What is it? can't tell. I ain't got my glasses on, but is it a beaver? What is that? Hush. Get in the house. What is it? Is that a rat? That is a f Well, it's dead. There's, it's, this has got to be some type of record. Or something. There's no way on earth that is that I can't believe that. I'm gonna put my foot next to it just so you can see how big that is. That cannot be a rat, dude. But it is. That is a rat. That is a freaking rat. Oh my god. It is, it is, I wear a size nine and a half. Look at the size of that. It's, it is massive. I've never seen anything that big. I've never seen a rat that big. Never. That is huge, huge. That's the biggest rat I've ever seen in my life, dude.